what's up white tv it's your boy djy and we're back with another episode you already know that absolutely everyone in social media is talking about new death row records you know that legendary snoop dogg became owner of this also legendary label and as uncle snoop knows we have a bunch of unreleased music all the way by yours truly tupac yours truly outlaws Nate Dog and this list really goes too far, bro. So guys, literally it seems that this is beginning of the new life of Death Row label, man. Uncle Snoop really did some so major thing for the hip hop, man. This is really big, big job. One of the biggest job by Snoop Dogg he have ever done in his life, man. This is real facts, bro. If you agree with me, just tell me in comment section. So in today's episode, I want to show you new Death Row chain. Snoop Dogg showing us some beautiful Death Row chain, and this is absolutely different. This chain has some new vibe, man. Yeah, this is totally different from we know from back in the days. This is new Death Row vibe, man. This is crazy, man. Mm, this is wonderful, man. Snoop Dogg knows what he's doing, bro. Uncle Snoop is super, super king, man. He's true king of the West Coast and he proved it, man. He proved it in numerous times, but he has now Death Row label, man. He's CEO of one of the, not one of the, man. He's CEO of the biggest West Coast label, Death Row, man. In case you know, I'm a big fan of Bone Thugs and Easy E. I love Russell's family, but honestly, I want to say that Death Row label is the biggest man, period. So guys, if you don't know, last night Snoop Dogg had album release party. Also, he was celebrating new Death Row reunion. He had a bunch of the friends around him. Here was Warren G, here was Death. Man, they had some beautiful, legendary, memorable performances and this is appreciated, but what about the outlaws? What about the past members of Death Row label? I think that this will be a really perfect decision if Snoop Dogg really makes some one of the biggest hip hop reunion, man. I mean, uh, we need outlaws members, Young Noble, Idi Amin, man, we need Warren G, we need DJ Quick, we need Lady of Rage, of course, Death and Corrupt, and man, if if Snoop is making some big reunion, you just make it happen with all the past members of this Row label, man. Honestly, guys, I think that Snoop Dogg really needs to deal with Outlaws, with Young Noble, Idi I mean, because without them, this is not Death Row, bro. And I'm sure that, rest in peace, Tupac Shakur would be proud, man. Even Suge Knight is proud, bro. I want to show you post by Suge Knight Jr. where he says that he's super cool and he's so proud with legendary Uncle Snoop Dogg. It seems that everyone is happy with this crazy decision by Snoop Dogg. Man, this is really hip hop, true hip hop celebration, man. Absolutely everyone in whole wide world knows about this role label, man. Everyone knows about Pac, everyone knows about Snoop, and this is where this legendary artist starts to growing up, start to become what they are right now, man. Never forget about your roots, man. This is this is some truth, bro. So this is what it is. If you like how we don't forget to subscribe to YTV, get the notification bells and visit hiphoptvy.com. It's yours truly DJY. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Peace.